it going everybody? You're watching the Naval Tech and it's time for my 2025 updated video on how you should charge your iPhone. And even though this may seem extremely obvious, like get your iPhone and plug it in, there's so many best practices, so many things you should do and so many things you shouldn't and you should pay attention to when we're talking about charging your iPhone. The whole point of this video is very simple. I just want to make your battery last much much longer so have a much longer lifespan and of course also have a great performance throughout many many years let's make your iPhone battery healthy let's begin okay so in this video we're gonna talk about mainly five big things first how often should you charge your iPhone battery like once twice three times a day is there such a thing second when should you charge your iPhone battery? When you wake up, during the day, maybe overnight, this is a big deal. Third, we're gonna talk about percentages. So is there a correct percentage which you should always maintain, keep your iPhone battery? Like for example, between 20 and 80% or between zero and 100 and it doesn't exist, well, we're going to talk about that too. This is super important. We're going to talk about accessories as well. And you should pay attention to the accessories, the charger and the cable that you use to charge your iPhone. And last but not least, we're going to talk about a huge villain when we're talking about iPhone battery. And it has the potential to degrade your battery so, so fast. We're going to talk about that in the end. Okay, so first things first, I have to talk about one of the most important concepts when you're talking about iPhone battery. As a matter of fact, when we're talking about lithium ion batteries as a whole, and that is of course, battery health. So on your iPhone, if you go to your settings and then you go to battery and then you see battery health right there, you will see a percentage right next to maximum capacity. And the thing is, you just can't avoid your maximum capacity from going down. You just can't stop your iPhone battery or any battery from aging. It's the normal thing to happen. It will age over time. It will decrease the maximum capacity over time and that's normal. There's no way to maintain your maximum capacity at 100% for over eight months, one year, or even more. And even worse, you can't restore your maximum capacity once it goes down. It just doesn't work like that because lithium ion batteries, so your iPhone battery, they age. They just age over time. That's how it works. They age as they are being used, as cycles are being counted. And no matter how you charge your iPhone, no matter how you use your iPhone, cycles will always be counted your battery will always be in use, unless of course you leave it in the drawer, right? So they'll always be in use, therefore the maximum capacity will always go down and your battery will always keep aging. There is no way to stop that. But the whole point of this video is to actually slow down this process. This we can do. Depending on how we charge it, depending on how we use it, and depending on the best practices that I'm going to tell you in this video, and if you follow them, you'll actually be able to slow down the aging process, the degradation process, therefore the maximum capacity going down. We can slow it down, but not stop. And of course, it's impossible to restore it. And I wanted to start this video giving you this information just to make it very clear that there is no miracle, there is no magic here. This is how it works. And I always tell you the truth right here on this channel. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's actually talk about what you need to pay attention to. So the first thing, of course, is how often you could and you should charge your iPhone. And this is very simple, very easy, because there is no rule. There is nothing to worry here. You can charge your iPhone as many times as you want. So once a day, twice a day, three times a day, a hundred times a day. So you shouldn't worry at all how often you charge your iPhone. Just choose what's best for your routine. Maybe when you wake up, maybe when you are driving your car, on your way to work, maybe at work, or just once a day, so it's up to you. And that, of course, leads to question number two, which is when? What's the best time to charge your iPhone? And again, it just follows the very first question that we're talking about. 
there is no rule here you can charge it what's best for you so you can charge it overnight most people charge it overnight and a lot of people have this question have this feeling that charging overnight is really bad it, it's bad for your battery leaving it plugged in all night but no you can charge your iphone overnight that's how most people do it that's how i've been doing it for the past 15 years more than that so no problem at all but of course you can charge during the day so it's up to you but then one very important thing when we're talking about charging overnight has to do with the third question which is the percentages because if you charge your iphone overnight and you don't use any of apple's protection features then that's bad for you and let me explain what i'm talking about so if you go ahead and plug in your iphone and as i said you don't use any of the protection features it'll actually go ahead and charge it to 100 percent and then it'll maintain at 100 percent for many many hours through the night right but that's the thing charging your iphone at 100 percent is actually bad for your battery not only reaching 100 percent but actually over 80 percent so starting here on the third big question i have to let you know that yes there is a correct percentage in which you should keep maintain your iphone battery and that is between zero and eighty percent so charging past eighty percent especially maintaining at a hundred percent is actually a very very bad thing for your battery and of course i'm not the one saying this everyone says that this is very well documented this is everywhere every single manufacturer from every single product that uses lithium ion batteries they have specific features to avoid charging past 80 percent so other android phones notebooks electric cars every single product that you see with a lithium ion battery they'll have in their software a feature to actually stop charging past 80 percent and of course that's the same with apple apple have some protective tools those that i'm talking about here to actually avoid your iphone from charging past 80 percent there are currently two specific tools for this number one it's optimized battery charging and number two that's charging limit and both of them will have the exact same purpose which is avoid charging past 80 percent Apple has a dedicated website on their Apple support called Batteries, and of course I'm gonna have it in the description right here, where they make it very, very clear on a section called Automatic Battery Health Management, that's the section, and it says right this. Optimized battery charging and optimized charge limit, those two features that I was talking about, adapt to your daily usage and preserve your battery lifespan over time and of course it goes on and on and on but the point here is both these features will actually limit your battery charging to 80 percent maybe if you want to you can limit to 90 or 95 but the best way possible is at 80 percent i actually have a full video just on this it's a quite recent video actually where i talk about battery percentage and i give you way more detail on why charging between zero and 80 percent is actually the best thing you can do for your iphone battery i also debunk the myth that you have to charge it when it reaches 20 percent this doesn't exist it's between zero and 80 so go ahead and check it out i'll have a card right here link in the description go ahead and watch it after watching this video now let's move on to the next topic which is accessories which accessories can I use to charge my iPhone? Should I always use the authentic original Apple charger and Apple cable? Or can I actually choose any charger that I want, any accessory that I want? And the good news is you can use any accessory that you want from any third party brand. And I'm saying brand with this emphasis because yes, if you wanna choose a third party charger, so from any brand that you want, please make sure that you use at least a charger, a cable, an accessory that has a brand that's well known, that's established, that you have heard of. It doesn't have to be a premium, high quality, extremely expensive accessory because sometimes third party accessories are even more expensive than Apple ones, but at least it has to have a brand 
that you have heard of. And again, I'm not the one saying this, Apple says it, Apple actually says that you can use a third party accessory to charge your iPhone that actually complies with regulations, certifications and quality standards and so on. So what they're telling you is just use a good quality cable and accessory or charger and then you're good to go. The thing you wanna avoid are knockoffs, counterfeit products, uh, accessories that have no brand, super, super cheap, that don't even come in a box. You know, one of those accessories you wanna really stay away from because there's no point spending hundreds of dollars on an iPhone to charge it with a $3 charger, right? And last but not least, we have to talk about the villain. The big villain when we're talking about iPhone battery, lithium ion batteries as a whole. Maybe this last section right here, this last category is more important than everything else that I've talked about in this video. And we're talking about temperature, especially extreme temperature. Not only very hot, high temperatures, but low temperatures as well. Coming from that very same website from Apple, they actually tell us that the comfortable zone for iPhone batteries are between zero and 35 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna have it in Fahrenheit right here for my fellow American viewers. So that's like room normal temperatures. So when we're talking about very hot summer days or very cold winter days, it really goes above that and below that. So you really have to pay attention to and shield, protect your iPhone when you are in a situation like that with extreme temperatures. And if you think about it, below zero and over 35 Celsius is not that extreme anymore on our planet, right? It happens so, so often. So it's more common than we think. And when we have extreme temperatures like that, we have problems with our battery in the short term and in the long term as well. So in the short term, when we have extreme temperatures, our iPhone batteries will drain so much faster, have definitely gone through that. So the battery just goes and drains, it's, it's super fast, in just a few hours, you have no battery, right? That's the short term problem. But then if you keep putting your iPhone in scenarios like that with extreme temperatures, then you have a problem in the long run. You'll actually speed up the degradation process. So what we're trying to avoid in this video with all of those best practices and all of those precautions with extreme temperatures, you're just speeding up. You'll, you'll actually make your battery health go down way, way faster in the long run with extreme temperatures. So really be careful with that. And more specifically, when we're talking about overheating, Pay attention to when you're charging your iPhone in a hot day while using a case because iPhone cases do help to trap the heat right there and then it won't dissipate and it will actually make your iPhone overheat so, so fast. So pay attention while charging using a case, especially on hot days, all right? So that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to tell you on how you should charge your iPhone, the best practices, how you can actually slow down the battery degradation process, which is what we all want, which is to have a battery with a long lifespan, great performance, which is very healthy, right? So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video right here on Danabal Tech. See you later, guys.